counting, or more specifically, circuit counters. Over on the right hand side, I'm not going to cover this just yet, but it is controlling the flow of uranium onto the belt. And on the left side, if we had a centrifuge here into our process, we would want to control upward, we would want no more than 80 uranium. It takes 40 to do the process, to begin the process, but we would want a total of 80 in the cycle. So while the first 40 had finished processing and it's outputting its excess, the next 40 can be con starting in on the process. And then we output all the extra. And that's a tutorial for another time. Right now, I just want to cover the counting of those 80 initially. So what we add is we need to add all these values that are coming from this inserter, and we just need to total them up. So with an arithmetic combinator, we can set uranium plus zero, output uranium. And then we wire that. I'm going to also include the power station so we can actually see those totals to the inserter. And so we set read to pulse. We don't want it to hold. We just want it to send just when it has it one time. So now we're counting each one as it's picked up. Six, seven, etc. Um, but we do, we want to control, we want to limit how many actually get picked up. Or I mean, we want to control it down to 80. So what we then do is we enable it and we set uranium less than 80. Set. So now, when this was reach 80, for our demonstration, we'll set a lower number since 80 will take a while. We'll say 25. The system will stop, this arm will stop picking up at 25. And that would indicate, and then if you had another Corvex process, you know, you had several of them down the line, they would, the next one down the line would get the next uranium. And that does it for counting. As you can see, this is now turned red and the inserter is no longer active. All right, let's go into a little bit more complex. Uh, I'm going to talk about, in this case, I am counting seconds, or more precisely, the ticks of the game. And then 60 ticks represents one second. So I have this combinator, it's literally saying A plus one, output A. And it is going as fast as the game possibly can. And since the game's running at 60 UPS, we're getting 60 per second. And as you can see, it's not quite outputting at, I'm gonna change that so that the belt doesn't back up. Uh, not quite at one per second. And that is because I am actually saying if A is less than a hundred, output A. So this in this circumstance, we wired the input and output of this combinator together. This one is not wired so. The output of A is to the input of this decider combinator. And only if A is less than a hundred do we output A. So once it hits 100, it actually is outputting zero, and so this combinator starts over. So as you see, if you hold, if we hover the mouse over it, it counts up to 100 and starts over. And then this inserter is only activated when A equals zero. And that's counting simplified. Now we can control this 100. But I'm, in this case, I'm going to add a constant combinator. And I'm going to say we'll call that um, T for tick. Oops. T. So if we just set that to 100, 
and change this instead of 100 to T, we will get the same results. But now, say we had multiple setups like this going, you know, there are times when you want to control multiple items with one combinator or one multiple circuits with one combinator. And we will definitely get into that when I explain trains and circuits in a later tutorial. Uh, but in this, you know, I can set it to 10. And now watch that. Much faster. Set it to 5. change it a whole lot but this is only going to count up to five and every time this is zero this is active now the inserter itself has a speed and that's as fast as it can go and it's only carrying I set the override stack to one I set it to three you know it would do more two and one the inserter itself can only go so fast so it really doesn't matter down to a certain point once you go below that the inserter can't go any faster than that but if we set it to 60 we're only outputting one a second you know and 30 one every half second So in a nutshell, that's counting. This is a counter. It's just adding A plus one, outputting A. But this is resetting that counter. If A is less than some value, continue to count. Output A, put that A back in, and continue to count. But once A is less than, or once A hits this max value, in this case, we're using a less than value, we can set all sorts of values then output nothing and so a plus a zero plus one would then be one and it would start over so that's counting in factorio i hope you enjoyed this video check in for more circuits explained and if you have any questions leave comments below and i will do my best to answer them thank you and have a good day.